your AI systems are useless without the right information. Most agents hallucinate and make things up. The fix? Red. It lets your AI search real documents and give accurate answers. And in this video, I'll show you how to build it in Lovable. So watch until the end of this video and see how it works on my actual YouTube transcripts. Okay, so we are going to create a lovable app with Rack and we are going to use OpenAI for this. And OpenAI has vector stores. And what a vector store basically is, is it is a place where we can put PDF files and OpenAI will take care of all the Rack stuff. So we can just make a request to the OpenAI vector store and it will come up with all the information that we need according to our PDF files. So in your dashboard from OpenAI, you will have your storage tab right here. And you have your files and you have your vector stores and if you click on vector stores you can create a new vector store right here but this is all in the interface of OpenAI and we are going to do this all in lovable so we'll use OpenAI under the hood but everything that we will do will be in lovable so I will explain everything in detail we have this prompt and this prompt basically puts together everything that we want to build and we also add documentation to it so we are going to create a web application where users can upload PDF documents we store them in OpenAI vector stores so that they can chat with their documents using AI. So we can upload PDF files. We then have a chat interface and we also explain something about the backend integration. So we have a document upload flow. We have a chat flow. We have a vector store setup. And then we also explain which API calls we need. So we are going to create a vector store. We are going to upload our files to OpenAI vector stores. We are adding the files to the vector stores and we also then search the vector stores during chat. We only need one environmental variable so what we can do right now is we can copy this prompt we can go to lovable we can paste it and we can very simply run it i will run it right now and in the meantime i will explain you how to get your api key and also how the vector stores work so if you're enjoying this video and learning anything from it and you are not subscribed yet i want to ask you please like and subscribe it really helps me to grow my channel and a lot of more videos like this are in the pipeline and i think you don't want to miss them so let's get back to the video so we then go back to OpenAI and right here we have our overview of our vector stores. We can now go to API keys and we can create a new secret key. So we call this rag, we create the secret key and we can copy it. We can then go back to Lovable and paste it in our app. Okay, so it enabled Lovable Cloud and it is now asking for our OpenAI API key. So we can paste that in here and submit it and now it will implement the rest of our app. So let's wait for that. And then within a few minutes, we add a drag to our app in a really simple easy clean and effective way okay perfect so we got our first version of our app and this is all looking really good it's called doc chat ai and we can click on get started we can sign up so let's do that and we got our interface right here so we can now upload documents so let's test it out click here and i have these files and these files are transcriptions of my last five videos and i want to be able to ask questions about my transcripts so what we can do is we can click this it's now upload and we can now see that we have our document right here and what we now need to do is check if this document is actually added to the vector store and that we have created a vector store in OpenAI so let's go to OpenAI we go to storage and we have our file right here we can click on vector stores and we have the user documents for my email address and we see that we have a file attached so this is all going really seamless so we added all the documents to our vector store and let me very shortly show you what the documents actually look like we have this file which is a transcript of my video and the other ones also look the same and i hope you see that this is now for a youtube video transcript but this can be anything this can be documentation about a customer service or internal documentation or whatever you need you can do it in exactly this way so let me now test out the chat and see if that is already working so let me start with a very simple hi okay so we got an error so let's just click on try to fix and then test it out again okay perfect so it fixed it and let's not actually just test it out again we say hi again okay so we got hello how can I assist you today so what is the topic from most of the videos okay perfect so we have automated video creation which is correct we have AI powered tools which is also correct user experience enhancement product development process and this is already looking really cool we have the sources as well so we can see which file is used for this and we can also ask things a bit more focused 
focused on a specific video. So we have my last video, which was about fire crawl. So let's just ask a question about fire crawl. What is fire crawl? Fire crawl is described as a web scraper. It enables users to scrape various types of data from websites, including competitor analysis and pricing comparisons. And it was indeed from this video. So if we go to video one, you can see here that we are indeed using fire crawl for this. So this is really good. OpenAI takes care of all the hard work behind RAG. Check out the prompt in the build loop library. Thanks for watching my complete video. I hope you learned anything from it. If so, please like and subscribe. A lot of more useful videos like this are in the pipeline and I am working very hard to make sure you can create the most amazing AI apps possible. So I will see you in the next one.